Bear with me, folks on on um, Facebook. I just hope this works. So just give me a sec for the folks to get back on on um, YouTube, and then we'll take it from there. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. Apologies again, folks. I don't know. I think we're live again on YouTube. Just waiting for somebody folks to join. <sighs> All right, the season started to come back on. <sighs> yeah, this could be really, really frustrating, folks. I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right, so I see two people are back on. All right, the numbers are starting to go back up again. Apologies, folks. If it's not one thing, it's another. We all the time we used to be cooking with gas. Now it's all. It's, it's just. It's, it's what? <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's just give them a couple minutes, Facebook folks, because I really want to play this this other clip with respect to the file. All right. Um. Yeah, see what's happening here. Nice, Debbie Marquis. Yeah, I need, I need VPN, Debbie. Yeah, Denise Bramble. Yeah, huh. all right. Let me just give the other folks a little more time to come back in and then, yeah. Right, let me just rewind this a little bit. Right, just get them a little time. Well, all right. right, so Arthur James is telling me Facebook is okay. Thank you so much, Arthur. Right, so I guess the issue is just with the with the YouTube. So just give the maybe another minute or so, just that the uh, folks on YouTube come back in and then otherwise they'll just have to replay the uh, or go into the new new live to hear the, the uh, right so let me just I don't want to keep the folks on Facebook waiting for too long and I want to be able to open for calls just now so let me just uh, continue this and I guess the folks would have to um, jump on after. This does to be who have like what as an island can we produce? What do we have already existing? That like, in the event we do achieve autonomy, we can thrive off and we can build a stronger e e economy than what we are getting now from Trinidad. Because I know um, when it comes to budget, we always have that one that one um, issue that we're not getting enough. We're not getting the budget that we deserve. So when we build an autonomous island, what resources do we have to be able to um, finance ourselves? Right, so an autonomous Tobago does not necessarily mean a, a seceded Tobago. Let me be clear on that. So having a more autonomous Tobago does not mean that Tobago becomes an independent nation state. That has not been the advocacy of any of us in the, in the House, perhaps except for the member for Ropes who are guy that is on record of uh, for, 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 for asking for secession. In fact, his position is we should start at that place where we negotiated and, and then we will probably get to the place of the kind of autonomy, the kind of devolved powers that we desire. So he said, Yeah, so apparently according to him is only Watson you wanted secession. But when Watson was talking that, the rest of Ali wasn't saying no. Nobody said, no, no, that's not what we want. We ain't talking that up. But now he come in to say that, right? Yeah, it's only Watson. Watson is the only man who ever said he wants secession. Right? You had nobody from the PDP. Executive aside, no members of the PDP saying we want secession. It's only Watson and Watson alone say that. Clearly. Uh, secondly, the issue of resources. I, I don't want us to have a misconception about Tobago's contribution to the national budget. I know um, some maliciously and deliberately Parrot this nonsense that all Tobago contributes is really about 200 to 250 million dollars in tax revenues that is collected on the island. That is rubbish, 
um, that is not true, and there isn't an accurate uh, reading anywhere of Tobago's contribution to the national economy. So let's... Folks, let me replay that, right? For those who, who if you went in your fridge, right, and you, and, and you went to your fridge to get a red shandy, and you didn't hear that, or you're closing your fridge door, let me, re let me just replay that little piece that he said there, right? Let me go there. And I'm replaying that. And he wants us to have a misconception about Tobago's contribution to the national budget. I know um, some maliciously and deliberately parrot this nonsense that all Tobago contributes is really about 200 to 250 million dollars in tax revenues that is collected on the island. That is rubbish. Um, that is not true, and there isn't an accurate uh, reading anywhere of Tobago's contribution to the national economy. So let's start there, because the law actually says that. You heard what he said, right? That is rubbish. You don't know who parroted that foolishness that all Tobago contributes is 200 to $250 million right? in revenue. That's Fali. Fali says so, eh? That is rubbish. Let us, right, okay. Hold on. Apparently, there are two Valley Augustans in, in, in Tobago, right? And that was that was the clone. Why I say that? All right. That's Fali. You only heard what he said. Eh? All right. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Listen to Fali number one. One year ago, when he delivered his maiden budget speech as the Secretary for Finance, in fact, his only budget speech as Secretary for Finance. Isn't it? It's not? Right. Hmm. Now, let's hear what the man say. Nobody. Okay. Just now. Yeah. <laughs> Relief, Ali? All right. No problem. Just now. Come on, one sec, folks. Let me deal with this. As I said, that's Fali number one that you heard there, right? Listen to Fali number two. One year ago. Let me pull this up here. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let me see if I get this here. Uh -huh. I'm sure the Prime Minister cannot inaccurately ever again inaccurately say that all Tobago contributes is 200 and something million. Never. Never. A few moments later. Moreover, Madam Presiding Officer, annual revenues collected in Tobago average 226 million or 226.4 million for the period 2015 to 2020, roughly 10% of Tobago's actual allocation from the central government for that period. Say what? Really? 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 Didn't he just say? I'm confused. Didn't the same Fali just say? He don't know the part in that nonsense. Let me turn. Let me play that again for you. Let me play it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure the Prime Minister cannot inaccurately, ever again, inaccurately say that all Tobago contributes is 200 and something million. Never, ever. Moreover, Madam Presiding Officer, annual revenues collected in Tobago average 226. That's when he got the realization. It's <laughs> like, oh, wait, that. I look like an idiot. I just said the Prime Minister could have. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a, a, a red hypocrite, a village idiot, or a house slave, a PM house slave that wrote that film. And he didn't read it before? Okay. Million, or 226.4 million for the period 2015 to 2020, roughly. 10% of Tobago's actual allocation from the central government for that period. Fali, Fali, Fali. Hmm. You don't know where that nonsense comes from? 
people keep parroting that dotishness that Alter Bigger contributes is 200 million value. You don't know? Okay. I guess that was um that was Fali number two that just said that, right? You don't know that person. Okay. Uh, maybe you didn't have your salt fish that morning. I don't know. Probably. Hmm. <laughs> hey, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, comments for the midterm review, and as for the Minister of Finance, we will return to the Parliament and will either increase the budget or presumably can we'll increase the budget. More than likely, it will be an increase based on revenues, extra revenues generated might be an increase based on need and based on the kind of social programs that must happen to get the economy moving again. Um, and so when that happens, um, I'm sure you should look and see how much we will get out of the rebudgeting exercise. See how much more we will get. But I guarantee you, what we have had in the past, um, up until the last budget, which is this fiscal year, is $4.30 out of every $100. And on top of all of that, on top of all of, of, of that, uh, we are using out of that $4.30 to help the Prime Minister mine his business in Tobago. For things that are the Prime Minister's business. Thank you very much for that. Um, sure. Find me on the support and subventions from Central for that. Um, sure. Find me. It will happen, and then you have to fight to get it to happen on the back end. And what else? I let me. Give... All right. I don't want to miss it. Let me save. Let me comment. save you. That's all political rubbish. Um. You see. There is a kind of political passive aggressiveness that happens. You sit in the meetings, they smile, they nod, they agree, they say yes, it will happen, and then you have to fight to get it to happen on the back end. And what else I let me give there? you an example. Case in point, to country planning. We, mm -hmm. I, I brought the motion to the House, took it into the exec council, had it approved. Met with Minister Bickles in Tobago and the team from Planning in Trinidad. Sent a legal team down to Trinidad, sat before the Parliamentary Council. The lawyers, everybody agreed that based on the law, the THA really and truly should be executing the functions on the town country planning. We are more than a year since that happened, more than a year since the promise. The THA has prepared a space um, for, for the workers to migrate into. We have committed funds to paying the workers, to subsuming the workers, to paying for the technology, to paying for digitization of the Tobago records, all of those things. And to this day, we still have PSAs telling us, oh, we don't feel like we're ready on that two years. We ain't ready yet and all sort of shookiness. Hmm. We ain't ready yet and all sort of shookiness. Okay, Carly. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, boy. who is the, the corporation soul of the country to provide me with a list of all of the national board's committees for which the THA um, by law is required to have a representative. Yes. Committees for which the THA Hold on, huh? yes. more than a year since the promise. The THA has prepared a space um, for, for the workers to migrate into. We have committed funds to paying the workers, to subsuming the workers, to paying for the technology, to paying for digitization of the Tobago records, all of those things. And to this day, we still have PSAs telling us, oh, we don't feel like we're ready in under two years. We ain't ready yet and all sort of shookiness. What's the other stupidness, Fabi? Snow folks. Something as simple as that I cannot get the list with. No. Um, because we really don't want us to really right. have an, yes, a representative. There's a point I want trying to get here, folks, just now. Huh? One point. Today, we still... For paying for... Digitization of the Bible records, all of those things. And to this day, we still have PSAs telling us, oh, we don't feel like we're ready in under two years. We ain't ready yet, and also that shookiness. All right, the video seems to be freezing at that point. So let me try and get what it is that I wanted to play for you here. 
um, eyes. But it's not so simple because that's no, that's no. Murphy's law. This first was made in December 2021. In fact, the first government minister in Mexico was the Minister of Finance, even for me to be Prime Minister. And to date, something as simple as that, I cannot get the list. Well, it might be simple in your, uh, in your, in your eyes, but it's not so simple because they, they really don't want us to know of, of, of all the boards of which we have um, members on um, because they really don't want us to really right. have an input. And the point I'm making is right. it is that kind of pattern on what end smart. Right. So the point I wanted to get across there, right? He's complaining because I don't know the video seem to be messing up there. That since December 2021, he asked the Minister of Finance for a list of all state boards and state enterprises on which the THE has representation, has a representative, has C. And he says up until now, he still has not received that list from the minister. And he suspects that the reason why they have not been given the list is because the minister, by extension, the government, does not want the THE to know which boards they have a say on, right? And which boards they have input on, so that they wouldn't need to make that input. Now, this is the chief secretary. He also complains about the issue of town and country planning, where he would have met with Minister Beckles and, and the Ministry of Planning um, with respect to uh, giving more autonomy to town and country planning in Tobago and whatnot and stuff. And they sit down with you and they smile and they tell you, yes, you will, you will get it. And then afterwards, they come to tell you a different story. Let me address that. First of all, I don't see or understand why the Chief Secretary needs to ask the Minister of Finance for a list of all of the state boards on which the THA has representation. That information is supposed to reside with the Chief Administrator, right? Because this is not the first time that the THA has been called upon or that the THA would have been required to um, name representatives on the various boards on which they have a seat. This has been happening for decades. So the chief administrator, who as far as I know didn't change with the change of government, would have that information because when the letters have to, of appointment have to be sent out, in the same way they, they send a letter to Ashwood Jack to tell him he's the new chairman of, of Spell, it's the same way you have to send a letter out to when the executive of the THA makes the decision as to who is going on what boards. The chief administrator would send out the letters as the case may be signed on behalf of the chief secretary or the respective, um, the respective secretary. But even so, even if that were not the case, just as in Trinidad and in Trinidad, where every minister or ministry is aware of the boards that are under them and the boards on which they are required to, um, to appoint persons to carry out the duties and functions of those boards. In the same way in Tobago, the divisions, the individual divisions, which isn't that many, would be aware of the boards that fall under them and, and who the appointed persons are. So for Pali to come on an interview and tell Tobago people, again, using falsehoods to stir up this sense of dissatisfaction and give the impression as if central government only doing all kind of thing, every minister doing things to frustrate the THA because it's no longer PNM. It's absolutely dishonest, disingenuous, and dangerous. Let me give you all an example. You heard him complain there that since December 2021, he asked the minister for this list and he can't get it yet. So as far as he's concerned, he doesn't know, as the chief secretary, he doesn't know which boards um, the THA has representatives on. They're a damn liar. Since they came in in December of 2021, January of 2022, one of the first things they did was to call on all um, boards that fall directly under the THA that were appointed by the PNM, they called on all the persons on these boards to resign with immediate effect. And all persons who were THA appointees sitting on state boards were called upon to resign with immediate effect. They didn't do any due diligence to see what is the requirements, the, the technical requirements, the academic qualifications, and so on, the professional qualifications that are required to staff these boards. No due diligence. You just come and say, just as was as took place in 2010, when the People's Partnership came in, very early on, that was one of the first things they said, I remember Mr. Wona saying, resign forthwith or you will be dismissed. And they call on all board members across the board to resign. Pali and them come and do the same thing. You, you didn't go through to see, well, what are the boards? Do we have people within the ranks of the PDP 
who could serve on these boards? Do they have do we have people within the ranks of the PDP with a professional and technical backgrounds? Because some of these boards actually spell out you need an accountant, you need a lawyer, you need this, that, the other, the next, right? So did he check? Did they check? No. To see, well, do we have who we have supporting the PDP that could serve on these boards and meet these requirements? You can do that. But he complaining. He asked the minister since December 2021 for a list, and he didn't get it yet. And he suspects us because they don't want them to have a say on the board. So let me give you all a real life example of how far he's a damn blasted hypocrite. One of the boards on which the THA has a representative is the National Trust on which I said, right? That representative, even from the days of the People's Partnership, was a gentleman by the name of Louis Villain. And Louis is well schooled in. Um, Heritage, natural and built heritage, right? He is the eyes, or he was the eyes and ears of the National Trust in Tobago. And he was doing human service. And there's a reason why he was retained from under the time of the People's Party. He was not appointed by them, but the PNMTHA would have nominated him um, to serve on that board since at the time of Roger Samuel, when, when National Trust was under the Ministry of National Diversity and Social Integration and so on, right? When the, when the PDP came in and they demanded that all of these people resign, Mr. Belen acceded to the request and he submitted his, well, he didn't, let me not say he submitted his resignation. He offered his resignation and it was accepted. In fact, the letter of acceptance came from the office of the chief secretary. When Mr. Belen got his copy of that letter, he forwarded it to the board so that we would know that he is no longer um, the THA appointee and therefore we need to um, we need to speak with the THA board, the new THA executive, with a view to having them appoint a new representative. We wrote to Fali in January of 2022, right? Drawing this to his attention that we understand he accepted the resignation of the last THA um, representative. And it is important that we have a replacement because of the amount of, of work that needs to be done. And that heritage in Tobago, built and natural heritage, is a critical element of their tourism product. We got no response from Valley, right? We then wrote to the Secretary for Tourism, Tashia Burris, and she agreed to meet with us in September. So since January, Mr. Villain resigned, right? They accepted. We write to Fali, we got no response. Wrote to the Secretary in charge. September, she agreed. We met the entire board, went across to Tobago, and we met with her. And we drew this to our attention. We need to have the Tobago representative and so on because of the rich treasure trove of natural and, and built heritage in Tobago. She said, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, we. this is a priority. I've, I've already identified or shortlisted two persons who I think would, would, would serve well on that board. However, um, I just wanted to meet with the board first so that I could, you know, kind of get a sense and a feel of the persons on this board so I will know which of the two persons best matches the synergies, her word, of the board. She said, great, wonderful. We spent two days with the secretary. First day we had that meeting, we discussed that and we thought that was out of the way. The next day we went around to Diego and we visited several natural, several heritage sites. Right? September, October. Now we say we give an apply because it's Tobago Carnival, so no problem. I had probably hot weather. November come around, no appointee. In November, the French ambassador held a, a, a cocktail event on board a French naval vessel that was visiting Trinidad, an OPV that was here, right? And three members of the board attended, which was the chairman, myself, and, and, and another and one of the elected members. Fali was at that event. Again, we spoke to Fali personally this time, and we told them, look, we wrote to you, we met with your, your secretary, and we need to have the Tobago representative appointed because the term of office of the appointed members of the board comes to an end on November 26th. The board has 11, 11 directors, and we need six directors in order for any decisions to be made for a quorum to be had. And if it is, right now we only have 10. And if the five appointed members, members appointed by cabinet, when their term of office ends on November 26, we will only have five members on the board, absent the Tobago representative. And therefore the board will not be able to function until the minister or cabinet either reappoints or appoints new directors um, to the board. And we don't know when that is going to happen, so we need to have the Tobago representative. Yes, yes, yes. When I get back to Tobago, I will make it a priority. I will contact the secretary and uh, we will deal with that. And we told them, we said, well, we met with the secretary and she said she identified two people. So it's just we ought to send the name to cabinet and let them approve. Of course, yes, yes, yes. December, January, February, in March, the chairman went abroad. 
on her way back to Trinidad, she encountered Fali in the airport in, in Miami. She again reminded him of the necessity for the Tobago representative, right? Reminded him of the discussion that was had in November, and he said he would make it a priority. Well, I don't know if his definition of priority, like it going to secondary school and wearing long pants, because he don't know what priority means, right? March, we in May, up to now, the board still is without a THA representative. He knows that there's a THA representative that is supposed to sit on the board of the natural, National Trust, but up to now, no THA representative. But you come on an interview last week to complain and cry and gripe and talk about how um, the, you asked the minister for a list since November 2021, and the minister up to now can't give you the list, and so you don't know. Well, why would you really want the list? Is it so that you could cross-reference against all of the all of the resignation letters that you got since 2021, 2022, to make sure that you have no PNM holdouts sitting on any state board representing the THA? Is that the real reason? It can't be that you want to appoint. Because it is more than a year now you're aware that at least one board requires a THA appointee, and you have not treated with that situation, despite the fact that we have met with you personally, we met with your secretary, we have written to you on numerous occasions, and still to date, no representative. What you're complaining is because your figure is because they don't want they don't want you to know which boards on which you have a say and have a, and you have a contribution to make. You're not serious, family. You're a damn hypocrite. A hypocrite. But you're coming to complain and cry. Tell the people the truth. But when you're going and thing, and then people in Tobago hearing this, and is all of that the central government doing, boy? Is all that they're doing um, Solfish Valley? Is all that they're doing to teacher them because they're vexed? Because they're tooting? Because they're suffering from withdrawal syndrome because the PNM gave out of office and the nine power no more. It's all that they're doing, we boy. Are we boy? This is the misrepresentation. It is dishonest and it is dangerous, and they continue to lie and, 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 and create an environment of, of acrimony and animosity between Tobago and Trinidad. I as I said to you all on Sunday, this is the first time I can recall ever seeing this level of of um of What's the word I want to use? There's such a, 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 an acrimonious relationship between Tobago and Trinidad. Where persons in Tobago now, when you're reading comments on, on social media saying some of the nastiest things, the worst things, when we thought it was bad, when, when Kristen Moore said, put visine in, 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 when Trinidadians come to Tobago, put visine in the water and get them diarrhea. But it's like, it's a continuation. And look at the people who probably look into their position, former TOP members. So it's only a matter of time be well. I think Chris Lynn Moore is the is the chairman of the uh, TRHA, the Tobago Regional Health Authority, I think, or something. So she was she was given some some big appointment recently. And now we have Ashwood Jack get big appointment. So it seems that they are now embracing um TOP membership. They realize that the PDP, well, formerly PDP, now TPP, does not have apparently they don't have the um, professional competence perhaps within their ranks to fill some of these positions. So you now have to lean on the TOP to get person. Seriously? All right, let's see so somebody with my phone. Yeah. So this is what now I, I think I will stop there. It has more, but in the interest of time and me wanting to open the line, I will um I will I will now defer to that. And um I will take us some of your calls and we will see how that goes. What's the time? Let me see what's the time. Come on, we still have some time. So we will take a few. And um, if possible, I will, well, I can't play this on Sunday because as I said, I won't be here and I can't take the equipment with me to to, um, to Jamaica. So yeah, um, we probably had to continue that when I come back or something. So let me see what's happening here. Just now, let me just um, set this thing up here. Um, yeah, all of these technical difficulties, uh, feeling problems, I don't know who corner machine, but we will see. So let me just get this here, turn this off. Right, put this on. Put this here. Right. You all remember, what was the number again? I think I should, I suppose to know, it's 770 I think, yeah. Hello, good morning. Morning, sir. Yes. No, I have an issue now with, you see, with, with Fale, Fale and them, 
It's not the writing on the wall with them right now because you can't tell me, right? Hold on there. Yeah, you can't tell me that you are you only have this grievous to Trinidad, but the money they have to understand 90% of their tourists of tourists it's up to the that mm-hmm. and that would be fit to realize because push come to shop if they continue with this divisive way of thinking to the daddies would not want would not want to have nothing to do with, with the ego yes and look last year when they had the first carnival how many tourists from outside came to their carnival Mm-hmm. It's from Trinidad. Uh-huh. I was up there last year for Carnival, and I, and I said Trinidad, Dominic. Your show wasn't from Grenada. The percent of the of the, the masquerade in Tobago was Trinidad. It wasn't Grenadians. Huh? It wasn't Grenadians. It had a few Grenadians. <laughs> that's not. It, 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 it had about twenty, or t- t- they had plenty. Right. Ninety percent of the masquerade in Trinidad and um, Tobago was from Trinidad. Yeah. Right. And finally, I'm not. For Ali and them know that Tobago is heavily dependent on Trinidad, whether it's tourism, economy, or you name it, and they know that, but they want to play tanto. You understand? They want to play tanto, but I want to be there. Let somebody else continue the conversation. Look at listening. Thank you. Right, and I see now that they are going to try and woo Bayesian tourists to come to Tobago, right? Okay, we we'll see how that goes. So look at money. Hi, morning, Dominic. Morning, morning Jen. Good morning, um, Dominic. Yes, Drew could have said something about Farley, and I'm starting to really believe that Drew called Farley a jellyfish. Mm-hmm. When I look at the urban dictionary, what a jellyfish is, a weak and scared man with no heart or brain, who mm-hmm. acts like a tough guy. However, you could clearly see through his BS. And I think that is what happened with, with Farley. He's in a position where he's trying to prove he's a man. Because he, you know, he's weak, he's indecisive, and he's behaving a particular way. However, at the end of the day, this is not um, Ludo and, 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 and play toy and all this. This is THA that has uh, um, people about six thousand persons to service, and people's lives are at stake in terms of their job, in terms of security, in terms of growth, and their behavior. It does nothing well, and those who encourage them because they see an opportunity to take charge. And they always talk about the oil and their water and all this kind of, I, okay, but do you all have the capacity to drill wherever oil or is in all the waters? Do you all have the expertise? Do you all have any knowledge or anything at all to treat with it? Instead of working with, with, with Trinidad, which is a united, a united unity in Trinidad and Tobago. They want a division, however. All that division, however, they want them to handle the stories. And I call them, this is my opinion, a bunch of master trainers to live in the slave house with master. Because now they get in position, they wear the best clothes, the best suit, and look like circus clown, and the mm-hmm. behavior is as though they, they, they never see currency. And that's how I see the teacher, all who surround them, encourage them in the foolishness. A bunch of never see currency, led by a jellyfish who has no heart, no brain, no spine, but acting as if she's a man. Thank you, Dominic. Enjoy the same. Thank you, Jen. Get this in. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, good morning, Dominic. Morning, sir. I am good. good. Greetings. Um, Dominic, I'm going to have a question, actually. Mm-hmm. That, you know, you know, based on your point of view, Christian Moore and Master Jack, it is basically that part that is from another part. It is basically a reaction to you, you know. Yes. It is basically to you, which, which means it is part of the uh, of the TDP mm-hmm. and it's such a, it is basically your team to be go. That was just, that was just, you know. To be going to do, to go back with you, okay? You've been watching them. Yes. I remember now. What the fuck, TDP? I remember of TOP. Ashwa Jack, mm-hmm. Christian Moore, Sam Green. It all added up to that. Yeah. 
And another thing too, that action of Trevor James took on about the management center than I tell the Prime Minister and Ghost Minister don't come to the call. Like how they call Dr. Roger and Peter now. You know, Dr. Roger and Peter now. You know, Dr. Roger and Peter now. And Dr. Roger and Peter now. And Dr. Roger and Peter now. Tell me something. What will happen to the Prime Minister? Mm-hmm. When they make that statement, tell me what, tell me what, what, what will be the outcome of that? Yes. Tell me, no, I, I was not here. Mm. But let me tell you something. That sounds like one of the trees, you know? Mm. I don't know how you see it. Yes. But that sounds that sound very true, you know? And they really want to success or, 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 or go independent. Yeah. That's how I see things. And if I was the finance minister, that's a problem. But I will recall all these so-called but tell money to them. Mm. But I know for a fact that if the so called dictator has the right to call him and a police, I find that actually very true, you know? Yeah. It sounds good because we don't have the mindset of Robert Mugabe or the department of Vladimir Putin. I will listen up here because tell me something. If that is in your mind, that is something about the case, I don't. I will listen here. Thank you. Mr. Chance, good morning. Oh, Baraj, <laughs> about to see, you know, a fusion and fill game by the yes. day, isn't it? Yes. And I just say, let me call and tell you that you're on, you're in the right direction. And uh, congratulations, and we'll continue to keep connected. Yes. I like the topic this morning, and I'm glad that you, you read from um, Reginald Dumas' commentary, right? Mm-hmm. Which tells Tobago that everything that happened in Tobago, despite, despite what According to the TTC Act, it is still subject to the overriding decisions of the policy of the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm-hmm. So whatever whatever authorities they have in the TTC Act are still subject to the policies of the cabinet of Trinidad and Tobago. Very, very interesting commentary. Thank you. Keep up the great work, Dominic. Thank you, and sir. And we'll talk again. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so don't be surprised if in 2025 you see Kristen Moore and Ashwood Jack as the two, tabib, the two TPP representatives for the general election, right? Um, clearly, the TPP is embracing TOP, right? And they're bringing their membership within, to their, in, within their fold. Um, of all the other incarnations of different parties since after NAR and the, well, the TOP's failed attempt in 2013. TPP has, well, the PDP. It'd be interesting to see what's going to happen in 2025 between PDP and um, TPP, but we know where the allegiances lie. It seems that people are now gravitating away from Duke because Watson doesn't seem to have much interest in Tobago these days. And uh, if he thinks that he could just walk back into Tobago anytime and fix that, that's not going to happen. Um, but 2025 promises to be very, very interesting. Clearly, the PNM has work to do. I understand that Mr. Hislop, Lawrence Hislop, Senator, alongside Hansel Dennis and um, Kelvin Morris and others are doing the work. Well, all right. I hope so. Um, 7701763. There was another part of this interview I wanted to play. Um, but as I said, take any calls um, in the meantime. So... Seven seven zero one seven six three. Let me see here if I get this. Um, one more call us this morning. This no. Let me get this. Seven seven zero one seven six three. One more listen. One more call us. We're going out on it. Because there was something in the in the in the um, interview where he spoke about you know Dr. Roddy trying to distract because of the fact that he can't control crime down in Trinidad and they're killing everybody down there and the economy is in shambles. <laughs> yeah, he just went to town in that interview. Let me see here. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, Mr. Romain. Greetings. <clears throat> How are you doing? I am good on you, sir. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. They want to freeze you out of the picture. <laughs> you know, they, they can try all they might. Yes. Good morning to your viewers and listeners. Dominic, this is only the beginning mm-hmm. of the disrespect 
and lack of maturity of the pick of size. Yes. It will continue. It's not going to stop. You understand? And the Prime Minister, as usual, will, of course, not go there and he don't fight with anybody. He will know when it is time for him to speak. Mm -hmm. I have no problems with that. But you see, there are a lot of things that some people don't understand is that the, the, the assembly gets a, a $2 billion, more than that, as a matter of fact, for recurrent expenditure every year. Mm -hmm. And if they continue along these lines of hinting at secession, they are going to soon realize that, listen, hey, what happened to be here? Mm -hmm. Be careful what they wish for. Because it is not as easy as I even believe it is. Mm -hmm. You understand? Who will bring any flights to Tobago? Mm. They have an airport authority. Who's going to do it? Who's going to pay for that? Mm. Who's going to pay for the vessels to go from between Trinidad and Tobago to the ferries? Who's going to pay for these things? And people have to understand it is not as simple as they seem. Fabi is asking for autonomy, but at what expense and at whose expense? Our expense? And because you to pay his milk while he do what he hell he wants hmm. and stay what a he business yes. with our money. No, that can't happen. And he has to be very mindful of these things. You understand? It's not as easy as you think. You think it's just a cat black and, and it's done. Yeah. And we continue as normal. No, that will not happen. And to the Goonians have to be mindful of what Fali is disrespecting the Honorable Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Because we love Tobago and we don't want to see any disunity. And sometimes when you listen to these people, when they speak, they talk as though it is, it's we and them. Oh, you understand? It doesn't sound, it's a bit of a pill to swallow. But at the end of the day, we hope good sense prevails. We can only hope. talk more. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Seven seven zero one seven six three. We still have some time. Maybe another ten minutes or so. Now to take your calls. Let's see, let me see here. Seven seven zero one seven six three. Just now, there's something I wanted to um, see we have here. One sec. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning, Dr. Damayan. Yes, you are. So, thank you, Lenny. Welcome. Yeah, we are first time again. No, no. Yes. I'm very impressed. I um, honestly am very interested in what you are going to do today. Thank you. So I want to ask you a question. I need to be a little bit about the mm -hmm. I feel that Sari, the Sari, and the Sikha Sari, we were saying that they see the salary of life for the children today. Is that true? From the subvention that is paid, that they get, the two point some odd billion, which is part of recurrent expenditure. So mm -hmm. they, they, they have money so the officers and then in public so don't tell them they have to do it. Why are they doing that? What are the like officers and just you know they're doing it uh the administrative staff and the team of all the staff. Okay? Yes. They run the 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 so much things that say by copies that processing documents and those things. Yes. But the actual like officer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, as I said, so the the, the the funds would be paid part of the, the subvention that they receive yeah. um in the annual budget. So the funds are remitted to, to the THA for them to, to pay these um uh, these workers. Right. Yeah. So in other words, what you're saying is that the central government is paying that. Yes. Correct. No, right. And like offers offers themselves mm -hmm. The transport commission. Right. And, and, and this thing is something common sense. So when when was a child and then it's 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 
Yes. And this is what I, I understand and this is what I want to make sure to like the other um, people who don't like to understand what what what, what, what six thousand people are doing this. I mean, you can't expect you to be you see it in head and mm. um it's the it's the head to so get direct instruction to like no okay. Yes. What do you mean that it's not work of transport? Can get direct instructions to like you know, the center and how to make it. And it goes right up the ladder telling you to do some for you. Now, the policy is something that is that is that the government do, which is the exception. And so, it's a law. They follow it, and if it's written in the police, and then they follow it. But to say that the, the, the minister should consult the CAA, then people come into the CAA, things like those blocks and things like that. That is nonsensical, and for people who are supposed to be cool, you, you know, so yes. they, they just look in part dog by the central government, mm -hmm. and it's only one way will end, because at the, at, at, at the end of the day, the constitution is the law, and mm -hmm. they're just fighting a losing battle, and it's all in the minds of the people of the day, because they would lose going on from it, until they say that they are somebody that they want, that they don't want, they want to take one hand. And they don't want to get an arm. Yes. You want to tell the government to get their money? You want to send that to it as you want? And then at the end of the day, when the budget presentation, we need them to have to get it. So they have to take the next budget presentation to get their money. Yes. Yes, you understand because the, the allocation, they, they, they feel down on that because that is the budget um, thing that they will ask the, 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 the opposition will ask questions of how the money is being sent. Well, that, okay, two billion was going to the table, and we see it also, and then that's the um, gap in here, and it goes till then. Well. So, in other words, what I'm saying is that, yes, CAK at this time, after the, they have to run their affairs, and some sort of impact that's involved in the state, but they have to keep them from the state, and they have to keep them from the state, and they have to keep them together with CAK, and we must see it back. And it's only a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you cannot, you, you know, you cannot attack the central government and you want to be the central government. You can see when you have patients like the economy of the central government and the economy so bad and whatever, you can get the real system to be given to you. You all are like more than the allocated of the government. But you're saying that you sort of need a bad thing. About you. So when you are well, then you are supposed to be there. Yeah. <laughs> you to the people that talk to you. They don't say, something wrong with them. So they do not want to make a bad And it always just feels that that would just blow over like nothing. You fall back in two days. Hmm. Like then, only realize what we don't need to be doing after. You will be back in the same. Thank you very much. Thank you. I wanna I wanna I wanna play something here for you, huh? Just now. This was the this was the part that I was looking for. Um just now, let me get this here. All right. All right. Listen to the disrespect. Let me get it here. Um, So one second, let's just get this up here. I'm on my thing, I'm doing my. All right, just now, folks, it's like, all right, let me just get this here. I'm just this thing connecting. I just need this to connect. Where he talks about, um, it's not, isn't this connecting? I don't know. All right. Seven seven zero one seven six three. When this connects, then I'll be able to um, take. So I'll just take a couple more of your calls and then we could sign off for this morning, folks. So yeah. I don't know why this not connecting. I wanted to play this. Seven seven zero one seven six three. Please feel free to call. What my colors this morning? I'm going to tell you. 
put things in place for you all to be able to call and make your contribution. Right. So let's we'll see here. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Uh, morning, Dominic. Morning. Uh, just uh, 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 Hi, good morning. Morning, morning. Hello. Yes, caller, go ahead. Listen, listen on the phone. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dominic. Yes, sir. I'm Arabian Botany. I'm, I'm calling to tell you how oh. much I appreciate the program. Thank you so I much. Particularly like the contribution this morning. Yes. And, but Thank I think you. we as student audience need to be a bit more mindful mm -hmm. of, of and pay attention to what the people in Tobago are saying. Yes. Because yeah. that part is not going to end except to work less yeah. at the rate of it ever. Correct. Correct. And, and we need we need to take care of what we are doing and protect ourselves and our country. Indeed. Okay? Yes. Keep up the work. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Yeah, so that was um, the legendary Marvin Gordon there. Um, right. So I think I have it now, right, folks? Just now. I wanted, I wanted to play this particular thing, right? I said... Right. I have to ask rhetorically, of course, is it that I should return to the media, return to the public and make noise every Monday morning over these things, or find a way to get the thing working, find a way to get the island moving, notwithstanding? And perhaps part of my fault is I'm not making enough noise. Um, I've been too quiet, too polite. Perhaps, um, and and that's why the one cryptic line um, got people all up in a frenzy. Frenzy, but I don't I understand the political game at work. Um, the the prime minister is having a difficult time in Trinidad. The murdering everybody down there, left, right, and centre. He can't manage crime down there. Um, the economy down there is in shambles. Uh, the, the the they are seeing diminishing returns on the the political moves. We've seen all sorts of exposés about members of his cabinet um, and, 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 and how they may have uh, poor dealings. Right. And so he's looking for a distraction. Right. Uh, the, 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 the village idiots with a soapbox on a soapbox, they need a distraction. They need something to talk about. And that's why I, I, I was very clear in just giving a one-liner and letting that be sufficient. Um, so that people know quite clearly what a THA's responsibility is as enshrined in the fifth schedule and what a central government as enshrined in the sixth schedule and also the seventh schedule, which are services that must be delivered. Right. So I just wanted to play that part, right? Village idiots on their soapbox need something to talk about. The economy in shambles, the prime minister can't control crime down in Trinidad and ministers and the and the questionable dealings and all of that. Really? Have you responded fully to the, the claims made against your Secretary for Infrastructure, Trevor James? Hmm? You don't have any dealings, shady dealings that he needs to answer to. No, you don't have any. No, no. And others too. That every every Monday morning practically you have somebody sending a WhatsApp message to your deputy chief secretary and secretary for health to tell her that they ain't get paid. Salary not in the bank yet. Forestry workers, CPEP workers not getting paid in some cases three and four fortnights and get the money. That is your business, Fadi. So maybe you should focus on dealing with those things. Your business instead of trying to tell Keith Rowley what his business is because you're leaving your business undone. Right? So I'll take two more quick calls, folks, if you all are so minded and then we can wrap up for this morning. Given if I had said so, we won't have a live on Tuesday. Definitely can't do it Tuesday because I'll be in the air, but I'll see what could happen on Sunday morning depending on how my schedule looks. Because only when I get there, I will know what my schedule will be like. So, um, yeah. So if you have maybe one or two other quick calls, and then we can, um, then we can wrap up. Let's see. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, I'm leaving. We are getting it. Yes. I don't before, before I look and leave, leave more because right now, I am a whole silly guy, but it's for work. And I'm holding this thing. But anyway, 
Yes. Before I go, right? I have I want to tell the opposition misleader of this country. Yes. Stay out of Barbados affairs. Mm -hmm. This is Trevor Bigo. This is not Barbados. This is not the Barbados TDPS. You understand? You want to write every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Why did Miss Lida and write herself and resign yes. as the opposition leader in this country? <laughs> right? This Brent Thomas has called, let the relevant countries head deal with that situation. We don't want your input, Madam Sushila. Mm -hmm. That is my take on it, Dominic. I locked on. Good program. Be safe, my brother. And we shall touch again on Sunday, hopefully. Yes, Stop sir. Honestly. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I agree with you wholeheartedly, but you see, she's trying to do a thing to say that if, if whatever the outcome is or the resolution is because she right. Same thing with the vaccines. We got vaccines because she wrote to the, to the Prime Minister of India and asked on behalf of the citizens. And magically, vaccines came. So she's going to write to Mia Motley, um, calling on Mia Motley to hold a public inquiry into that whole um, situation with respect to Brent Thomas. Yeah? And um, that's going to solve the situation. I said they're just prostituting that issue. They couldn't care less about Brent Thomas, but it's just they're trying to see how they could impl implicate the government in some kind of bacchanal, um, some kind of wrong stand up. So, yeah, after eight years, nothing, they've got nothing to stick. So I could take one more call, folks, and then I'm done for the day. Gotta head off to the office. So, yeah, I know little teething problems, technical issues, but. As time goes by, hopefully we'll be able to sort that out and persons who may be so offended by what is said here. Ease us up now. Ease we up now, you know? Okay. So 770-1763. Going once, going twice. No? All right. Well, uh, thanks again, folks, for joining this morning. Uh, continuation of, well, part two of part, well, Sunday's live. So, um continue to scour the the, the uh, facebook pages as well as the what's out in the public domain and we bring it to you here we discuss the issues and now we give you an opportunity to have your say as well and as we go along we're going to add more numbers and we'll uh, we'll be able to you know, improve the program improve the product yeah okay, that's what we look into so thank you all so much enjoy the rest of your day um and hopefully we will chat again on on sunday once more once i have internet and in, which i should have in the hotel and again as i said based on my schedule i i think i could get up early sunday morning may not be 11 o'clock because i'm sure they'll have something for me to do at 11. Uh, but stay tuned stay tuned for the uh, the notification and uh, we will chat again on um, sunday god's willing most likely all right so based on when i get the lay of the land when i get across there on tuesday um, i'll probably send out a message on the debunking unc lives facebook page Letting you all know, well, yes, the live is on on Sunday. So, and then, well, next week, um, I don't know. I'll probably see what I could what I could do on Tuesday morning. Um, yeah, again, based on how my schedule goes. So, thank you so much, folks, for tuning in, and um, share the live, share the live, share the live, and we will chat again, hopefully Sunday uh, next week. Yeah. So, I'm gone.